well, we didn't coach well enough, we didn't play well enough, and uh, you know, there's not really an explanation. We just didn't do the things we needed to do to be successful, and that starts with me. The Philadelphia Eagles have to hit the road for the playoffs, off to Tampa Bay for a wild card matchup with the Buccaneers, fresh off pitching a shutout. Ruling on the field was reversed. It is not a Panther touchdown. The ball was stripped away by Antoine Winfield, rolled through the end zone, so there's no points on the board, and the Bucs take over. Let's just get it out of the way. This is not a matchup of two teams barreling into the playoffs. The Eagles have lost five of their last six games. Hurts taking a deep shot. Terrific defensive play, McKinney, but he was out of bounds. The New York Giant player did intercept the ball. Going up against a Buccaneers team that couldn't score a TD against the worst team in the NFL in a must-win game last week. That's okay, though. One of these two teams comes out a winner and has as much momentum as any other team will. Buccaneers, at the very least, can say they gave up zero points in their most recent outing. Pressure coming. Ball stripped away. Stripped away and recovered by the Buccaneers. Quarterback sack. JTS. JTS with a sack and a strip. And the Bucs recover those ball. That Tampa Bay defense coming in off a shutout facing a Philadelphia offense that was only able to put up 10 points last week on a team with nothing to play for. Eagles haven't scored 20 points in three of their last five. Play fake, well timed. A.J. Brown coughs up the football. Giants have it. Question for Philadelphia, how healthy will they be? Jalen Hurts hurt his finger in their loss to New York last week on his throwing hand. He didn't finish the game. He left with a 26.8 rating, no touchdowns, one pick. He's ended with a sub-90 rate, five of his last six games. We'll throw the deep one on the rainbow, and it's too far for Watkins. Philadelphia's offense also saw star wide receiver A.J. Brown leave the game hurt. It's a tough thing to have to go through an injury and to, and to play through injury. Um, I'm hoping that he's okay, but we'll see uh, as the week goes. And Devontae Smith didn't play last week either. When they have both those guys and tight end Dallas Goddard all healthy and playing, Philadelphia can score. They were top 10 in points per game and yards per game in 2023. Hurts scrambles. Hurts has Goddard wide open for the touchdown. So the Eagles offense hasn't been bad by any means. Stacked against a Bucks defense, top 10 in points per game allowed. Bucks pass rush, not bad this season, top 10 in sacks. It was a committee approach kind of deal. And here they come and Tony goes. Hit on the play, big time hit, Levante David. Eagles pass protection, 11th in sacks allowed. So that's a beefy matchup. Hurts, deep drop, step and throw underneath, caught by Julio Jones. Buccaneers were one of the hardest teams to run on. That's important when you face the Eagles. They held ball carriers to 3.8 yards per run this season. Hands it off to Hubbard, and he is wrapped up and thrown down by Devin White. Philadelphia was sixth in rushing attempts. Hertz only averaged 3.9 a carry for the season, but that's because of all those tush pushes. DeAndre Swift, 4.6 a carry, over 1,000 rushing yards. The Swift that actually matters to NFL football also sat out last week. Into the short side, they go for Swift with a head of steam, and it lowers the shorter into Cardinals territory with authority, running over Buda Baker for 16. What kind of secondary is Hurts dealing with? Bucks not overly strong against the pass, a 92 rating allowed to quarterbacks, 22nd. Carr throwing end zone, it's caught for the touchdown! Now, both teams' offenses do have potential. Both teams' offenses just haven't sparkled as of late. Baker Mayfield had a great 2023, 28 touchdowns, 10 INTs. He looked like a number one pick at times. And it's caught! What a throw! And what a terrific touchdown reception! Mike Evans has done it again! Baker ended the year with a 137-yard outing, 4.3 yards per attempt against the worst team in the NFL. Doesn't come in hot. And there's a lot of room for improvement. Now we're in the playoffs for division champs, and so let's hit the reset button. And Bucks pass catchers, nothing much last week. Plenty capable of showing out, though. Mike Evans, 1,200-plus yards this season. Mayfield to the end zone. Evans, touchdown! Chris Godwin, also over 1,000 yards for the year. Mayfield looking deep. He's got Godwin with a big catch. Eagles DBs did not handle wide receivers well this year. 101.4 rating allowed to wideouts. Only three teams gave up a higher rating. Pressure coming. End zone. Wilson. Touchdown. The fourth down gamble pays off. 
up. Rashad White has emerged as a key piece to Tampa's offense, 990 rushing yards this year, over 500 receiving. Now over the middle, he's got Rashad White into Green Bay territory. Philadelphia held running backs to four a run. That's above average. Here's Connor. That one's blown up. Moro and Jomo. What if the game is on the line? Eagles kicker Jake Elliott has hit from 61 yards. He made 93.8% of his kicks, sixth best. And if there's one thing you've been able to count on as an Eagles fan, it has been that guy, Jake Elliott. Bucks roll in with Chase McGlough kicker, tied for 7th best field goal percentage, 57 yarder his long. McLaughlin from 39, he is now 3 for 3. These two teams did play earlier this year. It was a long time ago, week 3, Philadelphia won 25 to 11. Neither quarterback fared very well. Swift had 130 yards, A.J. Brown 131 though. Quick throw, pass caught, Brown, first down, Eagles. Philadelphia and Tampa Bay have met five times in the playoffs. The Bucks have a 3-2 edge. Let's rewind to the first time it happened. 1979 divisional round. Bucks won 24-17. It was Doug Williams versus Ron Jaworski. But Ricky Bell starred. 142 rushing yards, two TDs, and those classic unis. What's it say? What's it say? They gonna take it to four and two or are we even up after it's over? That's what the comments section is for. Let's see what the panel of 10 thinks.